Hey. Do I wear this? We'll find out. Does anybody need to do a sound check? No, 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 no. Do we need sound? You need this? Out of mind. Well, you ever see It's a Wonderful Life? You gotta see It's a Wonderful Life. It's the greatest Christmas movie of all time. It's Jimmy Stewart, Donna Reed. Jimmy Stewart has a chance to see what his life would have been like had he never been born. Has a chance to see what the world would look like, right? So part of what you do, I think, to help raise awareness around a whole long list of jobs is you have to challenge people to imagine the world without them. It's, it's ironic, I think, that the most critical jobs that allow civilized life to happen are the exact jobs right now that are struggling to recruit. So you need to first point out the disparity between those two things, challenge regular people to imagine their life without those workers and all the many, many, many things that they rely upon that they wouldn't have. It's not too different than uh, in farming, you know, one and a half percent of the country feeds 300 million people three times a day. And most of us don't really think about it because the food's always there. It's always on the shelf. Lights always come on when you flick the switch. Poop always goes away when you flush the toilet. As long as that stuff always happens, nobody gets upset. But all the CTE people calling sick for a week, you're going to have a problem. So you need to make sure people understand that. Look, there are people who are pretty sure we never actually went to the moon, but we faked the whole thing, you know? I mean, I've never been to St. Petersburg, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's there. I'm not an economist, and I don't have pie charts and graphs to prove it, but I spent a long time talking to employers in every major industry, and every single one of them, without exception, told me the same exact thing. The single biggest challenge they faced was recruitment and the ability to find people who were willing to learn a skill that was actually in demand, retool, retrain, and finally relocate. That has always been critical and it's something that um, we don't talk too much about because I think today the expectation is not only do I want the job that I've trained for or imagined doing, I also need it to pay me what I believe is fair and I also need it to exist in my zip code. So <laughs> these things are not realistic, but there is an expectation that all of those things ought to be on the table. So I think the reason people doubt the existence of the skills gap is because they simply define the existence of a genuine opportunity differently. So like most arguments, it just comes down to semantics. I define a job as a thing that actually exists based on an employer's willingness to pay a wage to get the thing done. And the government is not gonna fudge those numbers. 5.8 million is the most recent.